Hello, I'm Simon and I just started learning React. What's up, Simonics, and welcome back to episode number five of the developer logbook. I made a complete 180 with my mindset. If you compare it to last month, where I was kind of sad about all the things that didn't work for me, it's just not what I wanted it to be and it just feels not right at this time. I now turned this around after some good conversations with Simon with, uh, I'm also doing the podcast with Simon, but more on that later, about the business that he had in the past. And that got me thinking that I could actually just enjoy the things that I currently have without worrying about what I could change or what I could do different in the future. Instead of being upset about not finding any new ideas, I completely embraced the creator life this month. This means I also created a lot of short form content for Instagram reels, for TikTok. Yes, you heard that right, also for TikTok. And I just enjoyed creating these things. I even gave YouTube Shorts a try. I never watched a short in my life, but I think YouTube Shorts are also a nice way to interact with the community. Community. So for all this, there's no real end goal. I just enjoy the things that I do right now and I'm highly motivated to create more content, create entertaining content, but also create helpful content. But with all that being said, the tone for this video is set. Hopefully we're in a positive state. So let's talk about the real wins and the real projects that I worked on last month. Okay, some months I feel like I just created a lot of content and this month there are like five or six big items on my list that I actually accomplished. So I'm actually quite happy. So number one on the list is I released a game. You can find it both on iOS and Android. It is called Crossing Numbers. It is not the best game in history, but it's actually a quite cool game built with Ionic. The story behind this is this was the first game that I did in like 2012 with a friend during university. We picked up Objective-C at that time and created this little game for our friends. And now we just redid the game with Ionic. It was just a funny experience to do together. Go check it out. I would love to get a comment. I'll give it five stars if you enjoyed it. And there will probably be more modes in the future for that game. In terms of the side projects, which were actually meant to be like the main focus of this developer logbook. Um, number one, the SAS presslytics we're working on is not on hold, but we make slow progress towards improving the queries and we found another contractor who helps us with some database queries. So there is progress and I am sure at some point this year I'm gonna announce that it's released. Side project number two is Ionic Blocks. You know, the project I said is dead and then I started it again and it's actually quite healthy right now. I made a lot of progress, especially because I hired a contractor who creates some of the templates for Ionic blocks, which means although I have a lot of work to do right now on all the other projects, the project is making progress. Yes, this is of course a paid job and I'm paying for those templates, but I hope that in the end, this will work out when I finally uh, open uh, Ionic Blocks to the whole Ionic community. By the way, you can of course already check it out, ionicblocks.com, there's a little preview and you can also sign up for the pre-launch list. I don't know exactly if I mentioned this last month, but I am now officially the co-host of the All The Code podcast. So we already talked about learning React or getting into Web3 and these kind of topics that are relevant and interesting for developers. We talked about side hustle ideas. If you wanna check it out, there's a weekly episode dropping every Friday and and I would love to have you as a subscriber for the podcast as well. If you got any questions that you would like us to answer on the pod, so Simon and me, Simon, um, just let us know, send me a tweet, send a comment here. It doesn't matter, um, but we're really happy to do this part. And I just enjoy these conversations with Simon and I hope you enjoyed those conversations as well. Then I've been finally, once again, part of the Ionic conference. I was kind of excited because since COVID, I basically very rarely left the house for any kind of job. And of course, I never gave any kind of presentation. You might think that Simon is doing a lot of YouTube stuff and TikTok and whatever videos that this comes natural, but no, I'm still very, very excited uh, when I have to hold a presentation, especially live, especially on the internet. So my fear completely kicks in that the connection will drop, that I lose some word, that I just can't continue, I can't answer questions. I was very, very excited about that, but everything turned out great. If you missed the conference, I'm sure Ionic will put up the videos if they're not already up, so you can go through all the uh, talks or just pick the ones interesting to you, which should definitely be mine, so give that a watch. All right, and finally, let's talk about one more thing. Yes, I started learning React. After about six 
seven years, I don't know, of Angular, yes, I finally gave it a try. And I must admit, it's not too bad. Reasons why I started with React can be found on the latest podcast episode as well. Basically, I just wanna open up to more people because if you check out the NPM installation stats, it's quite obvious that Angular is only like, I think 20% and React is a lot more, like more in the 70 range. And then there's Vue and then of course we got the other new coming frameworks like Svelte or uh, Solid. JS. It just made a lot of sense in terms of business and where I want to go and where I want to grow as a creator. Because eventually I also want to create some Web3 content and everything that you find, every library that you see, everything that interacts with SWAT contracts or with the blockchain is usually written for React. And I don't want to recreate the wheel and do everything for Angular. So I really want to pick up React. I want to get into Next.js and probably figure out if Remix is something for me. I could certainly make a list of all the things that I don't like about React, especially that there is no structure, no CLI, no clear guidelines, no, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of things, but I'll just try and focus on the good things of React. It has a very fast life reload. Um, it's actually cool to program in React. The hooks, I kind of like the hooks, although I don't know if they are meant to use or not. So there are a lot of things that I still need to figure out, but once I've done that, I hope that I can create some content around React as well. All of this doesn't mean that I give up on the idea of microservices and the focus of this developer logbook, but this logbook was always meant to share the progress and the thought concepts behind all the things that I do. So hopefully you could already follow that and I'm actually also still working on one microsess, which is Ionic Blocks. So that is my focus right now. And besides that, I just want to try and be a good creator for the community. All right, and that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed these insights once again. I hope you enjoyed the journey. I'm always thankful that you actually join me on this journey and ask questions and leave comments. And I really hope to um, just inspire and motivate other people because I now found out that for now, I definitely just want to live this creator life and embrace the creator community. I'm super proud of the uh, YouTube community, almost 50K subscribers. This is really huge and I'm uh, just happy at the moment about all things, how they are actually are. June will actually be a very short month for me. I'm gonna be on vacation at the start of June and in the mid of June and then there's just two weeks before and one week's at the end. But I have big plans for June. So I really hope that at the end of June, I'm gonna release the beta of Ionic Blocks. I've been working on this for quite some time. There are a lot of templates included by now and I just need to figure out a few last things and uh, create all the subscription stuff. But I really hope that I can finally ship at least one micro SAS this year and then I can hopefully also to share some interesting stats about this new project. Besides that, I've just planned a lot of content. There will be more Angular focused content in June. And I've also hoped that I will be finally able to create some React content uh, in June after my vacation. So I'm just gonna learn a bit more and then I hopefully uh, create some material around Ionic React or just React in general. Again, thanks for joining me on this journey. I hope you had a great May as well. And I also hope that you're gonna have a successful June. If you got any questions about things I do or just want an advice, leave a comment and I'm happy to join the conversation. So long, your Captain Ionic.